Well, thanks to my neighbor Andrew, who loaned me a flag. We've got um, on our tall fishing pole, looking good for our sunrise services. Neighbor's got a flashing light on his, Ted and Jan. And look at that sunrise. Wow. Is that beautiful or what? Okay, Grace, have you done your check? Doing it now. Starting in the bathroom. Roger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. I feel like a stewardess. Twenty, twenty-one, <laughs> twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 25. Good catch. 26. 27. 28. Whoops. That's not part of the countdown. <laughs> Poor Clay <Clique>. 28. <laughs> and how's your TV? Is it locked? Um, TV. 29. Number 29, locked in position. Woo Ooh, good job, off. baby. Kaliki says, I think I'm out of here. <laughs> good boy. <laughs> okay, traveling with pets. And then, for a little extra security. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, put your seatbelts on. It's time Here. for takeoff. Okay, locking up all the drawers. We had, um, where was that? Antelope Valley, I guess it was, looking at the wildflowers a year ago, that bottom drawer there. We keep lots of heavy pans in it, and um, it slid out. And next thing we know, it was flying. Very thankful Kaliki was not laying there. All right, and after some new sliders, we got that all good to go again, and we learned the lesson, have some way to strap it down. And we're ready. Okay. Okay, so we are in shower number three at Love's, and um, so you can see this is very nice. They keep them quite clean. <laughs> we've got our shower, and we've got 10 minutes, so it is time for us to go. Are you ready? I'm ready. Speed Let's shower. Let's do it. Speed. Okay, Gem World, here we come. As you can see outside, they got a ton of big stones here as well. And going inside, look at this. One, two, three rows here. Four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, stuff on the walls. Beautiful stones, polished. And then going down the other way. Oh, wait, there's more. <laughs> 11, 12. I think 13. One will know how, I mean, the other ones don't. 14. 15. 16. 17. 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and on the back is number 7. So I think Grace probably did pretty good. We're going to have to take a look and see what she got today, but um, I've got a feeling is that she hit it big. And the thing that's most amazing is that the prices here are, I don't know, one-fifth to one-tenth of the prices you'd find anywhere else back in um, the other states. So you can't go wrong. And um, if you can't get down here, you can find Gem World online. So that's um, a nice little secret to know is that you can get things. Oh, speaking of which, look who's here. This is uh, like the Iditarod here, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Hey Grace, they're good looking. What you got cooking? Hey, hey, come on in. I got some beets from the Instapot. Freshly mm. made. Mm -hmm. Yummy. So we're going to take that over to the potluck along with our cherry pie. 
and our beets have straight from Sonoma County Fagones of California. We've got some garlic and olive oil along with some pomegranate balsamic vinegar. Vagones and balsamic, love it, and some right. oil. And um, are we going to have any little vino tonight? Of course. Okay. I mean, is there a mustache in Mexico? <laughs> there you go. Well, hey, we're looking forward to it. Okay. Yummy. Good cooking, darling. Well, hold on. I can't, oh, wait. I can't send it Okay. without a first... Uh. <laughs> I taste some garlic in there, I do believe. Yay! Mm -hmm. Winner, 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 winner! Mm -hmm. Chicken dinner! <laughs> Thank you, darling. You're welcome. Mwah. Okay, so we're going out tonight to do a little bit of stargazing up in the sky. I think we have as much equipment as we can possibly use tonight. We have, first of all, a tripod because you cannot get the shots you want without it. I've got my camera set with a timer because I don't want to like touch it and move it. Oh, I have a snoot, but my snoot is acting a little snooty here. Anyway, on this flashlight I'm going to do a little painting and we put some tape around the flashlight so we can get a little less broad light, a little more narrow. And we've got this low light lens. Michael's going to tell you more about that. Okay, here we go. So um, yeah, we're going to have on this 5D Mark III is what we're using. It has a pretty good size sensor, so not as much light noise, we hope, tonight. And um, the lens is, um, you, you want a broad lens, a wide lens, so I think this one is a 14 millimeter um, Roken. And um, there's no autofocus or anything, so you've got to know what infinity is before you set it up. And I think it's just not quite all the way to a normal infinity setting. In fact, I think it's got moved here, hasn't it? I haven't yeah, moved it. Yeah, look at that. We moved. So it should be right about there. Here is true infinity, but this is the real infinity there. So, yeah, you want to find that out for each of your cameras where your infinity is to focus on the stars. And, um, yeah, so we got the snoot around the flashlight. Um, we're going to be on a tripod so we don't bump it. Um, what's your shutter speed going to be? My shutter speed is going to be between um, 15 and 30, or minus 15 and minus 30. Yeah, that's right, 15 to 30 full seconds because um, longer than that, the Earth is moving and your stars will start to get, or they won't be sharp and crisp. Now, if it was a um, crop sensor, it would be about half of that. But um, Oh, and on your head, what do you have there? I have a light. Do you so, want to turn me um, on, baby? Yeah, I guess so. Now, you see, rather than using a, a regular light, we're going to use a red light so that, um, Grace, when we got walking out there, we're not going to destroy her um, night vision, so it's a little easier. But that is not to say you kind of got to know where your camera buttons are, so you have to know where your shutter is. I have everything ready to go. And if you have to change the ISO or something like that, you know which buttons are there if you I do you need to make a change. I'm ready it. to go. I know it by heart. My fingers can do the walking. <laughs> and you got your shutter speed for... About right now I 15? have it on 15, but 15? I can move That's it down That's probably to pretty good. Or uh, down to 30, maybe. From what I've seen a couple nights before, I really uh -huh. like 30. But I'm going to try layering tonight, which means I'm going to take about four or five different pictures, probably with different ISO settings, and then I'm going to go in post, and I'm going to layer them all together and see if I can get more of the atmosphere and Milky Way and all that good jazz. Hmm. So. It's all practice Hang in there with me. I've got a long ways to go, but it's a start, so. Are we ready to do it? Ready. Okay, let's go ahead and go. Go. <laughs> I'm kind of panning across this light here to paint this tree, and at first we were closer, and it was going, it was way too bright. So I moved back a little bit further, and I started to go quickly across, and that helped, and then I get further away, and I was going even quicker across, and so we finally got to where it wasn't showing up enough of the green, and so what's happened is I've gotten to where I'm going in between now, and we're just kind of experimenting. It takes maybe about a half a dozen times to get the light just right, but hopefully we'll got it, and we'll let you know how this one turns out. She's counting down 30, ready when you are. Okay, so she had an eight second time delay. Okay, I think we have a wrap here, don't we? Yeah, I'll just straighten it out and post. Okay. 
You know, one thing when you're out on a shoot that you always want to remember is to take all of your gear. So let's see. Right. The video camera, uh, my little mini tripod, we've got the light, um, I've got the, the flashlight, chair. you've got the chair, the dog. you got the camera, and do we have a dog here somewhere? Ah, uh, there he is. Well, I tried to make it Sunday, but I got so damn depressed. Then I set my sights on Monday, and I got myself undressed. Well, I ain't ready for the altar, but I do agree there's times when a woman sure can be a friend of mine. Well, I keep on thinking about you, Sister Golden, it's a surprise, and I just can't live without you. Don't mind saying I just can't make it So this wraps up part three of our series here from Courtside, Arizona. We'll be back with more. What are we going to have, Michael? We're going to take a look at some of the different guest speakers that we've had over the last several days. And we're going to start off by taking a look at some boondockers. Should be some fun between uh, we had Kyle and Olivia on driving and vibing. And then we had a couple more that we had. Next one came up was Camp Addicts. And who is that? The Camp Addicts were Marshall and Kelly. And we had from... Kaliki's Ilk, we had Leo with Kate and with Joe. Uh -huh. And that was the Russos, and we have some more coming also. So finishing up, um, I think the next one is going to be going north to Alaska. So look for those on the next episode, and um, lots more fun coming your way. Sleepy sea towns tasted salty ocean air.